Austin Dunham, Fidex Fearless, MJ Get Right, and Steph is Cold are all high value men who make red pill content on YouTube. But there's this one guy who hangs out with them that just doesn't seem to fit in. He's clearly not as dedicated in the gym, doesn't dress very well, and isn't as confident in himself. They say you become like the five people you spend the most time with. So how did this guy who sticks out like a sore thumb end up tagging along with the Red Pill Avengers? And why are they keeping him around? And how can you use this to surround yourself with high value men? Let's talk about it. So if you don't already know, Austin Dunham is a fitness YouTuber turned red pill content creator. He started his YouTube uploading fitness videos and then transitioned into uploading content about dating advice, improving attractiveness, and other red pill topics. I seen one of Austin Dunham's videos on his vlog channel the other day and it made me wonder, who is this guy that hangs out with him and his friends? As you can see, most of the guys share a lot in common. Confident body language, dripping with finesse, I mean, look at the swag, and overall mass on their frame. All of these guys have clearly put in at least five years in the gym. But there's this one guy who just doesn't really look like the rest. I don't know his name, but for context, we'll call him Fred. He looks like a Fred. So the vlog idea was to transform Fred and I got it in my notifications. I'm like, sick, I've been wanting Fred to step up his wardrobe game for the longest. Like, I know he got bread, like what's he holding back for? And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to spoil the vlog for you. He didn't get a transformation. He didn't get a fresh fade, he didn't cop the Jordans, and they tried to get him to wear some nice slim fit pants and complained it was hurting his nuts. I can walk for like, like, what's uncomfortable? The pants, bro. <laughs> the fucking nuts is all bunched up and shit. Like, My fucking nuts is all bunched up and shit. Bro, quit crying. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, bro, come on. They're slim fit. They're not skinny jeans, and you don't got big legs. You can fit in some slim fit pants. Come on now, bro. Austin, if you want to give me a transformation, I live in Florida too. It was good. <laughs> so disappointingly enough, he really didn't go through with the transformation. But what was even more disappointing was his attitude towards the entire process. Listen to me. I'm not, I'm never, like ever what? going to buy that shit. Well, this really showed where his mindset was and it really rubbed me the wrong way. Anytime FitX or Austin suggested he try something new, not only did he reject the idea, but he had such a negative taste in his mouth about even the thought of changing himself. He had the mindset of, people should just like me for me. So you don't like the pants? No, I don't like the pants, bro. It's okay. You don't have to like it. It's yes, I what, do. I have it's to, not I have what to wear you it. like. It's what looks best on you. FitX could not have said that better. He said, it's not about what you like. It's what looks best on you. That's like going to the gym, wanting to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, you get in the workout and meal plan that will get you the results that look like that, but then you say, nah, I kind of want to eat Twinkies and work out for like an hour a week. Come on, bro. This is a very comforting mindset that we get taught as kids. Don't change for anyone. People should just like you for you. That's straight bullshit, dog. If you want anything in life worth having, you can't just go through life having success and rewards just fall into your lap. Look, if you're a struggling rapper that has a song randomly blow up on TikTok, you're likely gonna have to improve your image and sound to keep up with your newfound success if you want it to last. If I want my YouTube channel to grow, I can't keep making the same videos I did in high school, going around vlogging my life that nobody cared about and expect random success. I have to create content that actually helps people and brings them value. In turn, I get rewarded for the value I give others. But I had to change my mindset to get there. Thinking, I'm not gonna change for anybody. People should just like me for me. That's such a selfish mentality and it's just ignorant. You're not changing to impress someone while sacrificing your own happiness. You're figuring out what result do I want in life and deciding that you're gonna be the type of person who deserves that result in life. There's a difference. And we can guess that if you don't already have that result, then that means you need to change the way you currently think and who you currently are. That's simple. So 
I said I'd tell you how you can get around high value guys and surround yourself with success. I'll tell you how to do that by telling you how this guy did it. So I ended up commenting on the video when it posted and said, he has such a closed mindset and a high unwillingness to change. How did he even end up with these guys? It got a few replies and Austin even replied to my comment saying, He's the mastermind behind all of our online businesses. I've been working with him since 2017 and introduced him to the other guys. He's chill and doesn't really care about the same things we do, except money. And that right there is a valid response. Not every guy has to be jacked or have the nicest clothes or master picking up females and whatnot. He adds values to these guys' life, so in turn, he gets to spend time with these high value men, making him also a high value man even if he doesn't have a Ferrari or the chains or the Jordans or whatever. He knows what he likes, and even though he is very close-minded towards the type of lifestyle that the rest of the crew lives, he's content, and that's actually okay. I recommend every man strive to be legitimately the best that you can possibly be before you die in all the areas that interest you. But once again, it's okay to be content as well if you're doing well. So if you want to make friends with high value guys, figure out what type of value you can add to their lives and then they will bring you into their tribe and you just surrounding yourself with these type of guys will add value to your life and allow you to increase your success in life. Go out, be great. Peace.